football was released for the Sega Genesis by Electronic Arts in 1993. EA, who was responsible for the Madden games that were just starting to take the world by storm, went in the opposite direction from the pro football simulation that Madden was to an arcade style full of bloody cartoon violence, starring mutants, robots, and aliens. At first glance, you'd think this was ripped straight from the Madden engine, but apparently it wasn't, and it really does have a different feel. There are only 7 players per team on the field at once as opposed to 11, but that's not where the differences end. There are death traps scattered across the field, like landmines, fire pits, and holes in the ground. If a player falls victim to one of these, they die. And if you have the reserve setting on, they'll remain dead for the remainder of the game, and you'll need to sub them out. If you run out of players to fill the necessary positions, you lose the game by forfeit. The frequency of players getting killed can be toggled with the death index option where you can adjust the death rate on a scale from 1 to 5. Aside from traps on the field, you can also pull off some wacky special attacks, like rigging up the football with a bomb with the intention of taking out multiple defenders who crowd over the ball carrier, equip your runner with a jetpack to fly a great distance across the field, or send every player on the defense after the quarterback before the play to murder him, which results in a 5-yard penalty. There are five species of players, trolls, skeletons, aliens, robots, and superhumans, all of which have their own special attributes, strengths, and weaknesses, much in the same way that different teams have ratings, which are indicated on the select screen to give you a good idea of how strong certain teams are. The team names are awesome. You've got shit like Midway Monsters, Psycho Slashers, and 60 Whiners. The player names are all demonic too, some of which are wordplay based on real players, like Bones Jackson, Scary Ice, and Reggie Freight. Game modes include a practice mode where you can practice offensive plays without a defense to bother you, a single game, or playoffs, which is a 16 team tournament. In fact, if you have reserves on during the playoffs, players that die will be wiped out for the entirety of the tournament. The gameplay isn't as smooth as Madden, particularly in the passing game. For one thing, the passing windows don't have those little indicators to show you how deep the routes are, and it's not quite as easy to make connections with the receivers because you have such a short amount of time to get them into position, especially if you have the game on fast mode. There are two speed settings. It's also a little difficult to follow because everything is pretty condensed. It would have been nicer to see more of the field. So it's rough around the edges, but it's chaotic fun, and there are a ton of visual gags like clips from the players talking trash after murdering an opponent, the coach is giving his team shit while gibberish plays in the background, and a halftime show that includes choreographed cheerleaders that you can blow up with football bombs. This quirky shit adds a lot of flavor to the stew. It's not a perfect game by any stretch of the means, but it's a fun time, particularly in multiplayer mode. It would lead to a spin-off, Mutant League Hockey, but we'll get into that one another day. And that wraps up this edition of Aqualung's Game Reviews. See you next time.